Hello everyone. Well, unless you're a subscriber to my other channel, Roger's Bits and Doings, you probably won't have seen inside my caravan. So here it is. This is my caravan and caravans get dirty, don't they? Caravans need vacuuming just the same as a house. But of course, you need a smaller vacuum, especially if you're going to be taking it along with you. So what vacuum have I chosen to go inside my caravan? Well, we know from the title, don't we? Yes, I've gone for the Dyson V7 Trigger. And as I'm unboxing this cleaner, I'll explain why I went for this particular model. OK, so one of the reasons I went for the V7 Trigger is I wanted a small handheld machine that would fit in one of the overhead lockers in the caravan because we'll be taking this with us on our travels to clean up any messes along the way and mainly to clean dog hair off the bed because we do share the bed with the dogs when we're going away and uh, Daisy especially leaves black hairs everywhere so I thought a handheld with a motorized brush will be ideal for cleaning the hairs off every time I make the bed so that was another reason and uh, another reason why I went for this one is the fact that I've got an adapter that enables me to charge this machine using a cigarette lighter socket either in the car or my caravan actually has a cigarette lighter charger so I don't have to spare a socket because there's not many sockets in this caravan so I can actually charge this up using the cigarette lighter socket which we don't use for anything else so I thought it'd be useful I'll show you that a bit later on if I can find it so we've got the instruction book I don't think I need to look at that I've got so many Dysons but here it is and this is probably the cheapest Dyson cordless cleaner you can buy at the moment, about £200 in the UK. So let's uh, get it out. I have pre-charged this, to be honest, so uh, I can use it straight away. So this is the regular adapter that plugs into your three pin socket. Here is the mini motorized brush oh that's a bit disappointing i thought it would have the same brush roll as my v10 and v11 but it doesn't it's got it's got the little wimpy soft brushes i might be able to use my uh, v10 or 11 motorized uh, head with it but oh, i thought it would come with a better one anyway we'll see how well it works that's a shame all right what else have we got the combination nozzle of course so I can use that for my upholstery or if I flip out the brush I can use that for dusting surfaces and my curtains and inside the lockers inside the cupboards here's the cleaner itself And finally, we should have inside here a crevice tool for all those nooks and crannies. So when you get yours, you'll notice there are a couple of stickers to remove. Just on the top here, we've got a sticker showing high suction extended run or max suction. And by default, when you open this, it will be in the max suction mode which won't give you very much cleaning time, but it will give you the best performance. But for general everyday use and use in my caravan, I think the normal mode will be more than sufficient. We've also got a sticker over the trigger saying 20% charged, charge fully before use. And Dyson say you should charge this for three and a half hours before you're using it. This has had a pre-charge, as I said, I've taken it out to charge it, but I will plug it in just to make sure when it's charging, there's a little single blue light just down here. And I believe that when it's fully charged, that light should go out. There's also another sticker on this side, just explaining how to empty the bin, which I'll show you in this video. I'm going to do a demo of this machine in use in my caravan. So I'll just remove that. Seven. To charge the V7 trigger, you need to insert the plug into the back of the handle here. 
and as you can see the little blue light has illuminated. As I said I have pre-charged this Dyson but it's been in storage for a while so it's probably lost a little bit of the charge which is why the blue light is on but that blue light will go out as soon as the machine is fully charged. So here's the cleaner itself it's very light and compact certainly ideal to go in this caravan a lot lighter and smaller than my V11. So I've already shown you the slide control on the top which as I said is set to max as a default but if you want longer running time you obviously need to slide it to the normal position. You've got the trigger which you have to keep your finger on when I squeeze it it won't turn on because it's plugged into the charger but you always have to keep your finger on the trigger while using the Dyson. You've got the filter here in the top which will need washing I think that's about once a month for best performance so that just pulls out and you can wash that under running water. Make sure it's dry before putting it back into the top of the cyclone. Now to empty it it's got the latest Dyson emptying system so it's a bit of an upgrade from the V6 because this actually cleans the metal shroud every time you open the machine. It's always best not to go over the max fill line on this Dyson so I would recommend you empty it after each use. And to empty it we have to pull on this red lever here and you'll see that the shroud raises up and the flap at the bottom of the bin opens. So as the shroud raises there's a little red silicon or rubber seal that helps to keep the shroud clean so any pet hair or dust should be cleaned and it should fall out of the bottom of the bin. You can remove the bin for a more thorough clean if you want to from time to time. It comes off completely. Don't submerge the bin in water because it does have electrical contacts but you can give it a wipe out if you want to and again you can use a soft brush or a slightly damp cloth from time to time to wipe around the shroud and the rubber seals. So that's basically all I have to show you. I'll just pop the bin back if I can remember how to do it. Just fits in here. There we go, that's it. There's always a knack. Once you've emptied the bin, you press down on the top and then you close the bin at the bottom. So it's just a basic little Dyson so we can attach the crevice tool for your nooks and crannies as I said, the combination tool and what I really wanted it for, the mini motorized tool so that will be ideal for cleaning my sofas and when the caravan's made into a bed I can clean the bed and the bedding. I've now noticed that the blue light has gone out so I can now demonstrate this Dyson.
Yes, I think this is ideal for the caravan. It seems to do a good job. It's still got charge left. I'm not sure how much charge because obviously this doesn't show you, but uh, it's still going and I have cleaned a lot more than I've actually filmed. Let's just see, the caravan wasn't filthy dirty, but uh, you can have a look at the dirt we've picked up. Ooh, crikey, lots of grit and sand there. Well, that's not bad at all. Well, I'll end the video, I think, by cleaning up the mess I've just made on this table. If you've liked this video, please thumb it up. If you didn't like it, thumb it down. And if you want to see any more caravanning adventures, don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, Roger's Bits and Doings. So until the next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.